is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, text number 18, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 29th, 1972, in Vrindavan, India. Translation. By regularly hearing the Bhagavatam and rendering service unto the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart is practically destroyed, and loving service unto the glorious Lord who is praised with transcendental songs is established as an irrevocable fact. Nasta praesu avadris. Avadra, we have discussed yesterday, avadrani, all dirty things. This material life means dirty life. Uh, people do not understand. They think by nice dress, a nice apartment, and nicely washed body, that is civilization. They do not know that what is the dirty thing which has attacked him, what is the contamination, that he does not Lokasya jānata. It is said that the fools, rascals, they do not know it. Anartha upasamam sāksāt bhakti yūgam madhukhaji lokasya ajānata vidyān chakre sātata saṅhi. Anartha, in the name of civilization, we have increased so many unwanted things, unnecessary. This is called anartha. Artha means which is substance. So, just like we can give so many examples, when there was no so-called advancement of civilization, people used to eat on utensils made of silver, gold, at least metal. Now they are using plastic. And still they are proud of advancement of sin. Actually it is anartha, anartha, unwanted thing. At least in two hundred years ago in India there was no industry. I think I am correct. But people were so happy. They did not have to go two hundred miles or five hundred miles away from home and for earning livelihood. In Europe and America I see people are going for earning their livelihood by aeroplane, daily passengers. I've seen. From Vancouver they are coming to Montreal and other places. Five hundred miles. At least fifty miles one must go. In New York, uh, many people are coming from distant places, long islands, crossing the seas, then again bus, again. All of them, simply, unnecessary. Uh, people, Chanakapandi says that who is happy? He says, the man who does not go out of home and who is not a data, he is happy. Very simple thing. Who does not go out of home and he is not a data, he is happy. So now we see everyone is out of home and everyone is a great data. So how we can be happy? In America the bank canvases that you take money. You purchase motor car, you purchase your house, and as soon as you get to your salary, you give me. That's all. Finish. You take the card. How many cards? How is card? M card? Yes. Bank card. Bank card. Bank craft. You see? 
So you take the card, it will purchase whatever you like, and deposit your money in the bank, then again you are without any money. Simply that card. That comes. <coughs> so actually we are creating unorthos. Unorthos means unwanted thing. Uh, so just like practical example, anarthaupasamam sāksār bhakti jūgam madhukhari. If one is engaged in bhakti yoga practice, devotional service, immediately the anarthas will be diminished, just like our students. Since they have joined this Krishna consciousness movement, they are all Americans, Europeans, they knew how to increase anarthas, unwanted things. Uh, <coughs> it is confirmed. Uh, immediately they have given the uh, cinema bill, the club bill, the intoxication bill, the gambling bill, and so many things, and medical bill also. Uh, we don't pay very much medical bill. That's a fact. Uh, so actually Krishna consciousness movement is so nice that if one takes to it, immediately he reduces so many rascal on earth house, which is not required. Does a man die without smoking? It is on earth, un- unnecessarily. <coughs> they are habituated by bad association. Sangat sanjāyati kāma, kāmāt lobha sanjāyati. By bad association they learn how to smoke, how to gamble, how to eat. And just like in India, uh, so-called gentlemen, they go to hotel to test meat, cow's flesh, how it is tasting. I know personally some friends. Uh, so these are anarthas. Uh, so uh, Sutta Goswami said, that if you want to reduce your anarthas, which are not wanted, anartha upasamam saksat bhakti yugam madhukhaj, if you uh, engage yourself in devotional service of the Lord, then immediately, directly, the anarthas will be diminished, which is not required, unnecessary. Anartha Uvasamam Saksha Bhakti Yoga. Just like in America, the government is spending uh, lots of money, millions of dollars to stop this intoxication habit of the young man. Uh, but they do not know how they can be stopped. The government is so rascal that they do not know. The government means full of rogues and rascals, I tell. Right. Uh, they will not know. Here it is the medicine given. And it is practically happening. Anyone who is coming to us, although he was habituated to so many bad habits, immediately gives. Uh, no intoxication. Immediate. But they will not come to patronize this moment. They will pay their officers and spend uh, lavishly for some nonsense program and plan. Is it not? Yes. Here is the medicine. Alarthavasamam saksat bhakti yoga madhukhaji. Teach people bhakti yoga. All anarthas will be vanquished immediately. Anarthas. Anarthas say things which are not required. Anarthavasamam saksat bhakti yoga madhukhaji. Lokasya ajanataha. But these foolish people, they do not know. Here is the remedy. They won't consult the perfect knowledge, Vedic knowledge. They won't consult. They will manufacture their own way. Uh, that this is the Lokasa Jānata, because these fools they do not know how to get out of these classes of unwanted things. Therefore, Vidvān, one who knows, Vidvān. Vid means knowledge. 
and bar means one who possesses vidva. The best day, vidva, the perfect vidva. Lukasa janata vidyan chakri sattata sanghita. Vidva, best day, has made this Simad Bhagavata. Take shelter of Simad Bhagavata and you know perfectly how you can diminish your unwanted things. <laughs> and the simple process is, as we have already discussed yesterday, uh, that sinnatham sapatha krishna punnasya vanakītana riddhantasya avadrāṇī vidhūnati suhitata. If you simply hear about Krishna, uh, Krishna is speaking Himself in the Bhagavad-gītā. Don't malinterpret. Simply hear as Arjuna heard it. Uh, sometimes some rascals say that Bhagavad-gītā, Arjuna heard directly, but we do not find now Krishna. So how we can hear? Then His words are there. <coughs> Krishna is not different from His words. He is absolute. If you read Bhagavad-gītā as it is, through the disciplic succession, then you are as good as Arjuna, hearing directly from Krishna. There is no difference. But if you ras- play rascal now, this word means this, this word means that, this word means this is rascal. If you play rascal down, then you will remain a rascal. You will not improve. But if you hear exactly like Arjuna, as Arjuna says, sarva mitam ritam my dear Krishna, whatever you are saying, that is all right, in total. I don't mean, misinterpret. Param, param brahma param dhamam pavitram paramam bhava. This is understand. You understand Bhagavad Gita as it is. In devotion, bhaktosi, uh, Krishna uh, instructed Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna. Uh, he said that this Bhagavad Gita, this yoga system is now lost. Yoga nasta parantaka. Now I shall again begin that yoga through you, because you are my devote, bhaktosi. Krishna did not go to find out a Vedantis to teach, the so-called Vedantis. A Vedantis means he is devoted. Huh? Veda, Veda means knowledge. And Anta means ultimate. So what is the ultimate knowledge? Ultimate knowledge is described. Bhavnam janmanamante jnanamal maam prabhadras. That is ultimate knowledge. After speculating knowledge, Life after life, when one comes to the point to surrender unto Krishna, oh, that is real knowledge. That is real knowledge. Unless you come to the point of surrendering unto Krishna, your knowledge is defective. Uh, you may advertise yourself as very learned and scholar, but we have got simple formula. Uh, our position is very strong and simple. We we take the words of Krishna and corroborate with Krishna's words. Now when I see, when we see that one man is not a devotee of Krishna or he does not surrender to Krishna, immediately we take him belonging to the four classes, duskritina, mūrā, narādhamā, māyā, apuntagyāna, immediately take. Huh? It doesn't require much time to taste him, what he is, because he has no surrender to Krishna and talks all nonsense. Huh? There are so many Gita explainers in our country, simply talking nonsense, minus Krishna. Bhagavad Gita means minus Krishna. That's all. Such rascals have spoiled the whole country. 
you see? Everyone is so politicians and this, that, all that, how oh, yeah, student of Bhagavati. And what do you know about Krishna? Krishna is zero. That's all. This is why. Huh. So, therefore Krishna says, Namang duskita nam mura prapadvante naradhama. So we have to hear, if we actually want to diminish our anarthas, then we must hear Krishna as He is speaking, without any interpretation. So, this is the process of diminishing all dirty things within the heart. Sarnatāṁ sakatha prasna punna savana kītana riddhantasya Krishna is with Dantasya, within your heart, Vidhunati, eh? he washes all dirty things. Krishna is taking charge of washing your dirty things. Eh? Simply by hearing about you, why don't you take this opportunity? What is this nonsense? Krishna simply says, you hear about me. Eh? Satatam kīntantam ma. Always chanting about me and hearing about me. Simple process, but the rascals will not take. They will make humbugs, jugglery of words. This is meaning, this is meaning, this is meaning. Therefore, they do not advance. The story of anchor. The anchor was not taken, and the whole night they rolled on the board, and it was where it was there. Now the next verse is that if you hear about Krishna, uh -huh. from Krishna, Krishna's representative, not from bogus men, uh -huh. according to this Vedic philosophy, uh, if somebody speaks about Bhagavad Gita, but he is not a Vaishnava, uh, Sanatana Goswami had forbidden that don't hear from him, because he will create rascal. Uh, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, Mayavadi bhasya sunile hoye sarbonas. If you hear about Krishna, from an impersonal, so-called Mahavadi, then your future is doomed, finished. Uh, and Sanatana Goswami has said, avaśnava mukhatginna pūtahari kathāmṛtam sabanam na kattam. Avaśnava, those are not following the principles of Vaishnava behavior, professional that are so professional reciters. That is forbidden. Don't hear from them. Uh, now, here it is said, Nittanga Bhagavata Sevaya. Uh, it is not said, Saptahanga Bhagavata Seva. Nittanga Bhagavata Seva. Where this Saptaha comes, I do not know. Is Bhagavata such a thing? that by hearing one saptaha he will understand everything. He cannot understand one word by reading Bhagavata, saptaha. What to speak of eighteen thousand verses? The whole Vedic knowledge is there. Nivama kalpatara galitam phalamila. What you will understand? This is profession. The real prescription is given here, nittanga Bhagavata Shiva. Every day, or every moment you should remember Bhagavata. Then, nastaprayasu uh, abhadrishu. Nastaprayasu, the dirty things which are within our heart, that is, the process is going on to uh, watch the dirty things, and the process is hearing about Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness moment is that that you hear about Krishna patiently and the dirty things within your heart will go uh, What is the dirty things? 
Uh, that is thing you see, rajastama uh, bhava. That will be explained. So, by hearing about Krishna, from Krishna or from his devotee, not to price, not completely finished. The contamination is there. Uh, therefore, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, apite uh, sudurachara bhajate mamananabha sadhureva samantha. Nostra prayas, one who has taken to devotional service, hearing about Krishna, he has not become completely perfect, even because due to his past habit, uh, he may do something wrong. Just like one was habituated in smoking, and he has taken, initiated, and he has taken to Krishna consciousness, but Due to the influence of some friend, he sometimes, suppose he smoke. So, if unconsciously induced by others, he commits some sinful activity, uh, but that is excused. Uh, but if he conscientiously does something, <coughs> sinful activity, that is not excused. Uh, Krishna says, therefore, that opite sudurachara bhajate ma mananabha, if he sticks to the devotional service sincerely, but due to his past habit, if he is seen that he has committed something wrong, so Krishna says, still he is sadhu. Sadhu deva samantha. Sammak bhavasitahe, because his faith in Krishna is there. Therefore, uh, he is half. Now one may say that uh, he is not following strictly the rules, but uh, intentionally if he is doing so, then it is very risky. He will fall down. But uh, by chance if he does so, the next line says, Kipram Bhavati Dharmatma. Because he is sticking to Krishna consciousness, he will be again uh, reformed. Kipram, very soon he'll be reformed. These are the things are there. Therefore it is said, nasta prayasu. Not that completely one becomes perfect. Uh, even prayasu, almost perfect. Uh, still, almost, not that ex- completely. Abhadreshu, he is he's trying to give up all bad habits, unwanted things. Nasta prayasu abhadreshu. How it is possible? Nittana Bhagavata Sivaya. Not Sattva Bhagavata Sivaya, officially. This is Karma Kandya. Uh, I sit down for one Sattva in a year and then three and then uh, fifty-seven days I do all lunch. No. Nittana Bhagavata Sivaya. One has to start Bhagavata. Bhagavata means this, uh, one who is related with Bhagavad. Bhagavad, from Bhagavad Sarda, from the word Bhagavad, Bhagavad. So, Bhagavad means the Gantha Bhagavad, the book Bhagavad, and the devotee Bhagavad. So, either you read Srimad Bhagavatam, but Srimad Bhagavatam should be released, understood through person Bhagavad. It is recommendation. Sarudhamada, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's secretary, personal secretary, he chastised one Brahmin, he wrote something wrong, and after all he gave him advice that if you want to study Bhagavata, then Bhagavata Parogya Bhagavata Sthane. Try to understand Srimad Bhagavatam. From a devotee, not from a professional man who is earning his livelihood by reading Bhagavad. He must be practical Bhagavad. Then he will get. Sanatana Goswami has also said uh, that Avaishnava uh, Mukhadgirna Puta Hari Katha Amritam Hari Katha Amrita Nectar. But still, although it is Amrita, 
uh, it is not to be received from the mouth of a non-devotee. One must be practical devotee, pure devotee. When he speaks, you should receive Bhagavat, the message of Bhagavat or Bhagavad Gita from him. Avaishnava Mukhadgi na puta hari kathamrita sravanam na karta. Do not hear. Reject. Uh, professional leaders. Reject immediately. Those who are earning their livelihood by the Bhagavad reading professor, you should immediately reject. This is in Yangsha. Not that, oh, here is Bhagavad. Here is Bhagavad, I must sit down. No. Sanatanga Sai says, no. Sabanam na kattam. Why? Harikatha, he may be, whatever he may be. But he is speaking Bhagavad. What is the harm to hear from him? One can argue like that. No, Sanatana Goswami says, yes, sarpachishta payo jatha, milk is amrita, nice, but as soon as it is touched by the tongue of a serpent, it is poor, it is poison. Sarpachishta payo jatha. He has given this very example. Milk is very nice, undoubtedly, everyone will agree. But as soon as it is touched by the leaf of a serpent, you cannot believe it, then it dies. Uh, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has also warned like that, that uh, mayavadi bhāsya sunile hoye sarvana. Uh, if you hear from a mayavadi who misinterpret things uh, according to their things, uh, so then he will be spoiled. He will not get any benefit. Uh, and Sarup Dhamada, secretary of Lord Chaitanya, he has also the same thing that uh, Bhagavata Paragya Bhagavata Spal. Those who are practical Bhagavat, like Bhagavat, from them, uh, from him, try to understand Bhagavat. Uh, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's instruction, his secretary's instruction, and Sanatana Goswami, these are Mahaja. Mahajana Jenagata Sapantha. We have to follow the path of great personalities, not of the fools and rustles. Then we'll get the result. Satang Prasangat Mahavija Sangita Bhavantirit Kandara Sana Katha Tadju Sanat Apabhaka Bhatpani Asu Sadhya Bhakti Ranukramishadi. This is the process. So, nittam bhagavata sivaya nashta prayasu avadresu. Not even completely, because you cannot approach Krishna in sinful life. Those who are thinking that we are living in Vrindavan and I can do all sinful activities because I am living in Vrindavan, uh, Vrindavan Raja will cure me, will purify me. That's a fact. Yes. But if you go on indulging in some sinful activity, then you will have to live in Vrindavan in like the hogs and monkeys. At least one life you have to spend like that, then you will be pretty far. So why should you waste your time in that way? Dhamma eh? Parat. If one is uh, committing sinful activities, in the dham, Vrindavan dham, there is a great offense. Namnad bala jasahi papa buddhi. These are the injunctions of this hastra. So we should be very careful. We should finish our business very quickly. Turnam jateta. Why should we take another risk of becoming hawk and live in Vrindavan? Don't take that risk. Not the price of this. Finish all contamination, dirty things, and become completely pure. Uh, because Krishna is param param brahma param dhama pavitam paramam bhava. He is complete pure. Apapa vidyam in the Vishwabhadeva. Krishna is uncontaminated, complete. Any contaminated thing goes to Krishna, he makes purifier. 
Let's try the gopis. Actually, they approach Krishna in a lusty attitude, but because he was Krishna, he, they become purified. So, it is not that we shall purposefully remain impure and approach Krishna, but the process is that if you regularly hear about Krishna and serve Srimad Bhagavatam or a devotee, then gradually your contaminated things may washed off. Bhagavati uttama shloke bhakti bhagavati na sthiti. The result will be the Bhagavati, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, who is uh, glorified by uttama shloka, by transcendental prayers, just like Brahma Sangita. This is not ordinary words. All Vedic words, they are not ordinary, mundane words. Just like Hare Krishna mantra. This is not mundane sound. This is transcendental sound. Golokera prema dhana, hari nama saṅkīrta. Hari nama saṅkīrta is not a, a, a material sound. Therefore it is effective. But if you contaminate it, it will not be effective. If you take it, hari nama, purely, without any offense, there are ten kinds of offenses, then it will act immediately. Immediately then. Golokera premodhana harinama saṅkīrtana rotina janumila kanata viṣaya viṣāna le divānesi hiya jale torivare nākain upā. So this is the upā. If we actually serious to get out this, of this material classes, then we should hear regularly about Krishna from a pure devotee of Krishna, Nityanga Bhagavata Sevaya. Then, Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhakti Bhavati Naishthiti. Then your form, steady, steadiness in devotional service will be fixed up. Bhakti Naishthiti. Naishthiti means nobody can, uh, I mean, push out of it. And that is Naishthiti, Nistha, form, faith. Virabrata. Uh, in ordinary case, in your five states, uh, if somebody says that why you are, uh, he'll be surprised. Uh, this girl, this Saraswati, some boy said, oh, why you are chanting? This is not very good. He, she gave her a slap. Just see, nice thing. How firmly she is fixed up, although she is a small child. Bhakti bhavati nasti. Nobody can deviate him. Ah. A pure devotee of Krishna, he cannot be deviated. You cannot cheat him. No. He will give you a slap. Nasti bhavati bhavati nasti. So that is required. Tato nishtha, tato ruchi, tatha shakti, tato bhava, sadhaka namayam premna, pradud bhavi bhavat kama. Uh, anartha, when the, the same thing is described by Rupa Goswami, uh, as it is uh, said here, nasta praya su avadris. This avadra, uh, this anartha, anartha nivitrisya, bhakti, if you want to take seriously to bhakti, pa, then the test is that he has given up all nonsense and unwanted things. Not that he is a bhakta and is still smoking. He is not a bhakta. He is not about. That is the test. Uh, so these things are to be noted very carefully and try to associate with devotee. Tadero charana sevi bhakta sanibhar. Try to serve the superior acharyas, goshamis, eichaya goshaijar tarmi dar. Make a conviction, form determination that we shall follow only the the path chalked out by the six Goswamis uh, shall not deviate. With this determination, if you go on, then everything is clear and there is no difficulty to become uh, liberated or become a devotee of Krishna. Thank you.